Now the first step is to restart the computer. Simply restart the computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now for this you can select the game over here then click on these three dots, manage and then go to files and then click on browse option and then open the game folder, open the content folder and over here find the game exe file. So you can try this if you are able to launch the game just make a double click and then try to launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Okay. So do not run as administrator just make a double click and then try to launch the game from here. If that does not work you can use this game launcher helper make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can use game helper and launch helper to launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to run the gaming services repair tool now for this you can go to xbox app click on the profile icon click on support click on gaming services repair tool click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the repair complete this will take some time and once the repair is complete you can close this and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so select your graphic card and then select your operating system and then click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver at the very top whichever is the latest geforce game ready driver you can click on view over here and then click on download and let the download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file and run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add microsoft store app and then find the game in the list so once you find the game over here you can see supermarket simulator you can click on this game and once the game is added scroll down here you can see the game click on the game and then select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate so your monitor refresh rate just an example if it is 240 hertz you can try 120 or 60 hertz and then launch the game you can even go to windows system display advanced display and you can over here you can select 60 hertz and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to disable g-sync now for this you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktop and then click on show more option and then click on nvidia control panel once nvidia control panel is open uh, you can go to uh, g-sync option and then if uh, g-sync is enabled uh, you can disable it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to verify and repair now to verify and repair uh, you can go to xbox app click on this three dots over here manage click on files and then click on verify and repair click on yes and let the verification complete this will take some time and once the repair is done you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to create desktop shortcut and launch the game using the shortcut now for this you can click on these three dots once again manage files oh sorry go to general and then click on create desktop shortcut and then go to desktop once you see this shortcut over here uh, you can just open it make a double click and then try to launch the game using the shortcut and then check still not working the next step is to repair or reset the game to repair or reset the game you can open windows settings and then go to apps go to install apps and then find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game uh, here you can see the game click on these three dots go to advanced option first of all click on terminate over here and then click on repair 
and once the repair is done launch the game if that does not work click on reset and reset and once the reset is done you can close xbox app over here and then relaunch xbox app and then relaunch the game and then check it now you can uh, select the game over here and then try to relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this open this link in a browser this will take you to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description here you can see visual studio 2015 to 22 download this x86 and x64 install both the file click on it run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed once installed restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel hardware and sound and then go to power options now over here if you see power saver like this you can select power saver launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game and then check still not working in disable or enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on advanced graphics settings over here if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if this is already on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have like hotels wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect it um, also uh, if you have external keyboard or mouse connected like key crown keyboard razor huntsman keyboard mouse you can uh, disconnect disconnect the dongle for the keyboard and mouse unplug hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it close all the overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and turn off overlay and close all the overlay application and then check if you have overclocked your computer set the overclocking to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reva tuner and if you have any online uh, storage application like onedrive or google drive running you can close it if you are using onedrive make sure that you are logged in perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure you put a check over here first and then click on disable all hit apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game if you have undervolted computer remove the undervolt and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again 
and then click on view advanced system settings so go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected when you update the system bios next step is to install all updates in microsoft store so go to store at the bottom left you will see download option go to download and then click on check for update and once you will see update all option click on check for update update everything once everything is updated now you can relaunch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure that you run powershell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow now paste the command over here and then hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see errors uh, in red color uh, then please ignore it if you see these errors just ignore it let the process complete once this is complete you will see everything red then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install xbox identity provider so open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website click on download and then click on open microsoft store if not installed you will see install button or get option install it and then relaunch the game still not working you can uninstall and reinstall gaming services so copy the first command and then type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and make sure that you run powershell as an administrator only click on yes to allow paste the command over here and then hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer now once done copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key this will open store now click on get option or if you see the install option hit install and let the download complete make sure this is installed then you have to relaunch xbox app and then you have to relaunch the game but make sure this is installed first now once done you can relaunch xbox app if you see update now update now click on it and then click on yes to allow and let the once it is uh, once you are able to launch xbox app and then you can launch the game the last tip is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can go to xbox app now top left click on your profile icon and then go to settings and then go to install options now over here uh, let me try it once again it's still loading everything setting install options now over here if the game is installed to c drive you can try to install the game to different drive so if you have any other drive you can connect it try to install the game to different drive and then check if the game is already like installed to different drive like d drive or e drive you can select c drive try to install the game to c drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel